All right, guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at a pair of noise canceling over the ear headphones that's competing with Bose and Sony, but at a much lower price. These come in at $200, and I'm talking about the JBL Live 650 BT NC. So the first thing we need to look at is what's inside the box. Now, the first thing you notice when you open is you see the headphones and they're kind of angled in in a way that shows you that they fold inward. Now, these do fold inward and the ear cups also swivel to lay flat. Now, you can see the charger here. It is a flat cable, but it is micro USB. So it takes micro USB for charging and battery life on these are actually really decent. It shows that you can get 30 hours of use, but that is if you do not use the noise canceling and you're not using Bluetooth. But if you're using Bluetooth and noise canceling, you're gonna get closer to 20 hours. These also have the quick charge feature. So if you pick them up and they're dead, you charge it for 15 minutes, you're gonna be able to get two hours of battery life. And these only take two hours to fully charge. Now they also come with a braided three and a half millimeter head phone cable just in case you want to use these wired. Also inside the box you can see that it comes with a canvas style carrying pouch. I really like it when companies include even something like this, just a pouch. It doesn't have to be a hard case just so it's protected from scratches and anything like that whenever you throw it in your bag. So that's pretty much it as far as the things that come inside the box. So what makes these headphones special is first off, they have active noise canceling. Now I will go ahead and say as far as noise canceling goes, it's not on the level as the Bose and the Sony, but again, we're talking about a price tag that is $150 less than the offerings from both of those. So I think you have to kind of lower your expectations as far as the noise canceling goes, but in my opinion, you don't have to lower your expectations when it comes to the sound. So if we're gonna go noise canceling, and we're gonna go from like a meter of here, zero to 100, Bose and Sony is about 90, and I would say these are probably around 75. So it's not a huge drop off, but it is noticeably different. And they don't give you noise canceling controls as far as how much you wanna block out. So it's basically all or none. Now the big selling feature to me on these is that they offer your smart assistant controls. So you can have Google Assistant or you can have Alexa. It's all built in and it's all controlled on the left ear cup. You basically just press and hold it um, and then you can ask it anything you want to or you just tap it and it'll read you your newest notifications. That is a huge plus for people that are out doing things and don't wanna have to pull out their phone. So the headphones themselves, let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you'll notice the complete headband is like a fabric type material that's on the top and the bottom now there is not a whole lot of padding when it comes to the headband um, but the way that these are built and as lightweight as they are it's not really needed this is honestly a pair that you can wear for a long time and it really never gets uncomfortable at all now the ear cups itself are plastic but the hinges and where it um, extends out has a metal frame now the one thing that's really nice on here are the ear cups. You have a memory foam. They are extremely deep and you can see that your left and right are marked inside the ear cups. Um, but these are some of the most comfortable ear cups that I've tried on headphones. Uh, but the one thing I do want to point out is at first they feel a little bit stiff and over time of use um, it loosens them up a little bit. But again it's memory foam and that's usually the case with these. Now branding on these is pretty minimal. On both sides of the ear cups you can see JBL's logo um, and also at the top as well but everything on this pair is just black so there's not a certain color that's making them stand out uh, the ring around it kind of has more of a grayish color just to kind of break it up a little bit um, but for the most part this is a very stealthy uh, simple looking headphone all of the controls really are on your right hand side. You have your power on switch, it's a switch, not actually a button. And then you have your volume up, your volume down, and then your main button controls. Um, these also control your tracks as well, simply by pressing and holding the plus or the minus button. Uh, you have your input for the headphone jack, you have your Bluetooth button. These headphones allow you to connect to two devices at once. If you simply just tap this button, you're able to switch from one to the other. So if you're watching a movie on a tablet, but then somebody's calling you on your phone, you can tap the button, switch over to your phone, and then take the call. And then right next to that, you have your noise canceling button. Like I said, it's pretty much just all or nothing. So you just turn it on and off just by simply hitting this button. Now the other controls you can have, JBL has its own app, um, which allows you some EQ controls. It also allows you to turn your noise canceling on and off from within the app. But I personally think even though they offer these EQ settings, I think just like it is right out of the box, it pretty much doesn't need to be touched. I think if you go to the bass boost mode, it's just adding a little too much bass. 
base. Um, these are really, really bass heavy right out of the box, but it's also really clean. Um, I had no issues with hearing vocals. Uh, vocals with male or female came through really well. It worked with all genres of music. It wasn't one that kind of favored one over the other. Obviously, they're more fun to listen to if you're listening to something that's more bass heavy, um, like pop, uh, hip hop, anything like that. That's where these really shine. And I think that's kind of the market for these. I think if you're looking at a pair of beats, or even if you're looking at the Bose QC35s or the Sony 1000X M3s, and you don't want to spend as much money, this is an amazing alternative. These to me are a pretty bright sounding pair of headphones, but it doesn't sacrifice anything whenever bass is kicking in. Now these do a really good job of giving you good sound imaging. Now it's not very distant and it's not very deep to sound like you're in a concert hall, but you definitely don't feel like everything is right here in front of you. These have somewhat of an open feel, obviously not close to like an open back pair of headphones or some really high end studio headphones. So I found this to be a great all around media headset, like with movies, music, TV shows, everything like that. It just works and it sounded great no matter what I used it on. Now, if I needed to point out um, some complaints, I think even though durability is not an issue with these, they still feel kind of stiff. I like to have a little more give in my headphones. Um, I would have liked to have seen a little more control over the noise canceling so it's not you know, completely trying to block everything out or just not at all. And then as far as EQ settings, even though it does let you kind of mess around with it on your own, they're not really doing too much um, and these didn't give you the ability to kind of get a flatter sound signature it seemed like no matter what setting you tried to play with bass was always in there so again that doesn't bother me but for some people that want a flatter sound signature this isn't gonna be a pair that you're looking at so again the $200 price point will save you a large amount of money if you're looking at some of the noise canceling contenders again don't expect these to block as much out as the Sony other bows but to be able to dial it back just a little bit and to save $150 is a really good deal. So guys, that is my review of the JBL Live 650 BTNC. Again, I highly recommend them for $200. If you guys are interested, there is going to be a link below. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.